we've got guys uh, shooting back and forth and going across the screen. Uh, but the, the background is still kind of static and boring. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create parallax scrolling, which is, uh, in, in short, the idea is to move the background layers at different speeds. So the farther back the layer is, the slower it moves. If you do it right, this gives the illusion of depth. So we're going to implement that here in this video. First thing I'm going to do, though, is a little bit of house cleaning. I threw all these uh, pool peas in here. Um, but they actually should go right inside of the foreground layer. Just kind of, just basically to keep things uh, organized. You can end up with uh, dozens and dozens of assets uh, in your uh, in, in a scene, and so your hierarchy pane can get uh, a pain to work with. <laughs> so uh, anyway, okay, let's go ahead and start creating the parallax view. And there's a couple different choices that you have when you're when you're dealing with the scrolling kind of uh, stuff. So here's how we're going to do it. We already have a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. We're actually going to add another layer in here. So let's go ahead and create an empty game object. And we're going to name this one 1-background elements. And it's going to go down here inside of level. And I'm also going to uh, change the name of these just so that they stay in the correct order. So middle ground is changing to two at the beginning and foreground is changing to three at the beginning. And also we need to make sure that the background layer, the Z uh, position is 10. Background elements, we're gonna change that one to nine. And also as long as we're here, we'll go ahead and set this to zero and this one to zero. A middle ground is set at 5, that's good, and foreground should be at 0 for the Z, that's good. So let's get started with some simple scrolling, and we're going to need a new script. So we're going to create a new C-sharp script, and we're going to call this scrolling script. And because this is a longer a script I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here instead of typing. In fact, we got some really long scripts in this one and typing them all by hand while you watch would just take way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just paste this code in and then jump through some of that uh, just to point out a couple things. For example, we've got uh, speed and direction and is linked to camera that are all public variables and so those are going to show up in the inspector pane of Unity. And a lot of this other code uh, is very similar to the move code that we had before. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to attach this script to the level elements up above. So I'm going to go ahead and drag scrolling script up to background. And now we can see it here in the inspector. It's all set to go. And we're going to change the speed on this one, uh, 1 and 1. The direction, negative 1 and zero that's good and link to camera is off now the next one scrolling script up to one background elements and this one the speed is going to be 1.5 and 1.5 the direction is negative one and zero and it is not linked to the camera scrolling script now goes to uh, middle ground and this one's actually going to be 2.5 and again, minus one, zero, and this left unchecked. And finally, scrolling script onto foreground. And the speed here is going to be one and one. The direction is going to be one, not negative one. And in this case, we do want to check the box is linked to camera. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, that's cool. And you can see that the... The background and these foreground objects, these props, are moving at a different speed. But we actually can do even better than that because we have this, uh, the background elements layer here that we don't have anything in yet. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a Platform 1 prefab, throw it up in here, and then I'm going to grab it and put it into background elements. Close these others so we can get a little bit more room up here. And what I'm going to do, since it's going to be actually behind things, it's going to be in front of the clouds, but behind the other ones, I'm going to make it smaller. And so I'm just going to do that. And we'll just put it, uh, let's see, actually I'm going to make it even smaller than that. 
So we'll put it there, and I'm going to grab another one, and this one's going to go here. Make this uh, nice and small, and it's going to go there. Throw it up here inside of background elements. And in this case, it is important which background layer it goes into since each one of these is scrolling at a different speed based on the properties that we put into the scrolling script. And let's go ahead and do one more platform two. Make it smaller. Uh, put it about there and let's go ahead and try this now so now we should actually have three different layers of scrolling all, all at a different speed and there we go you can see the background is going the slowest and then next up is the one with the little ones oh this one's actually in front of that so we want to change that so we need to change the order on that but you can see how we actually have now three different layers uh, plus plus the the guys in front the the pool pee and the and the player uh, ship himself so let's put this one back where he goes and we can uh, zero out the the Z for all of these background elements here and now all of the little guys should be behind the big guys and we can see that is correct there so cool just like that we have a scrolling background now we do have a little problem here in that we're running out of sky but we are going to fix that First thing we're going to do is create another background uh, for the sky. Remember we had one and we duplicated it and made a second one. And so we're going to duplicate that. Right clicking, choose duplicate. And we'll change the name of this one to background three. And just like this one has an X of zero, we moved over 20 for that one. We'll move over another 20 for the third one. And there we go. So now we've got a much wider sky to work with. And the way this the way the infinite scrolling background is going to work is we just watch to see when this one over here goes completely off the screen. And when it does go completely off the screen, we just move it over to the other side uh, programmatically in the background and it scrolls on the screen again. And this one will go end up going off the screen. We move it back to the to the end of the line and so on. So the first thing we're going to need to make that work is a new script. And this one uh, is actually, it's a C-sharp class extension, and it's called Renderer Extensions.cs. So it actually has an extension on it. And you can grab this code uh, from the website. And the link is right above this video, and I'm going to paste that in there. We're not going to go over it. We're just going to use it. And as long as you're over on the website, go ahead and also grab the full scrolling script. So we're going to actually change this uh, script that is here. Delete that and paste the whole thing in. So this is a, this is a lot longer. Uh, there's a lot of comments in here that you can look through. And of course, there's all the public variables. Speed, direction, is linked to camera. A new one called is looping. Uh, and so on so and it goes all the way down here so I'm not going to go through this because there's so much of it here but like I said you should go to the website look through the explanations uh, and it's really nice too they, they actually uh, number the different sections of the code and on the website it actually shows what that section is doing be sure and save and then go back over to unity make sure there's no errors down here and let's try it uh, after we turn on is looping for zero background layer right there and let's go ahead and start this up. And we'll shoot a couple guys just while we're waiting. All right, now we're going to uh, fly through the world here. And we have, uh, we're going to get to the end here, but we're not going to actually know where that is because we should keep going uh, forever and ever. And I think by now we would have seen the end of the third panel. And so you can see that. Uh, we now have an infinite scrolling background for our level. There's a big problem with the way things are working right now. You can see that the pool pee are shooting even before they're on the screen. There's, uh, there's b bullets coming at us even before the guys are on the screen. We're going to change the enemy script so that it will disable the movement and the auto fire when the pool pee is created and then it'll check once once it gets on the screen it'll activate that and then it will destroy the game object itself 
uh, when it's outside the camera. So let's go ahead and open enemy script. And this is another instance of copy and pasting everything. So grab the code from the website using the link above this. And you know the thing about uh, typing in the code and, and hopefully you typing in the code at the same time, it really helps you to absorb what's going on, uh, but we don't have the time to do that. So I really hope that you'll uh, pause this and go take a look at the website where they explain the different sections, uh, one, two, three, four, and so on, so that you actually know what this, what this script is actually doing. So let's switch back over to Unity and I'm going to undo Maximize on Play so that we can see uh, what's going on because I want you to see there's actually a bug in this now. I'm going to start this and these guys that were off the screen are still going sideways because they are in uh, the foreground layer here which has a has which has a scroll script attached to it so the way we're going to fix that is we're going to get rid of the scrolling script on the foreground layer itself hitting the little gear up here and choosing remove component and then we're going to attach that actually to the player, not to the foreground. So only the player will get the shooting or the scrolling script here. And again, we want to make sure that we select is linked to camera when we've made that change. And we also have to remember to change the speed one and one and the direction set to one. Save that and let's give this a shot here. Okay, there we've got the one guy flying, but there's no bullets flying around here from the pool pee until they actually appear on the screen, and that's the way we want. So as you can see from the top here, as each one actually gets rendered, then it starts moving to the left and firing the bullets. Okay, that's really cool. So now the, the pool pee, we can actually uh, take this and move some of the guys around, add some more all the way uh, off the screen here to the right so we can have lots of different uh, pool pee firing at the guy at over time not just all at once and I want to make a modification right now that is not covered in the in the actual pixel nest studio tutorial uh, but if you download their sample code from github uh, and you go and look at the camera in their hierarchy they don't have the size set to five. Now, I didn't set the size to five. It just automatically came that way. But I think they have theirs set to six. And when you do that, you're basically pulling back the camera a little bit so you can see uh, more of the play screen at once. And you can play around with that to see if maybe seven or eight might even be better for you. I'm going to go with uh, six right now. And that way, you actually get a little bit better bigger play screen a little bit area that more area that you can see now you can see that one thing that we have wrong here is that he, he can fly completely off the screen backwards forwards and so on and that's that's not good we have to fix that so let's go ahead and take care of that right now and so we're going to update the player script and run over to the website again and grab the chunk of code do a search for player script uh, and you should find it and we're going to go uh, it's inside of the update here so we're going to go right after this this if block here and paste that in it's marked number six on the website and i'm going to save that switch back over to unity let's try this again now and i'm going to go all the way up and i stop and i stop and i stop and stop so i'm blocked so that's cool so i don't have to worry about flying off the screen and not knowing where i am and we still have uh we still have our guy here set to 200 hit points so uh, he's uh because i'm just not that good of a player yet so uh, and you know when you're testing you kind of have to do stuff like that so basically at this point we have a scrolling sh shooter we've got a parallax scrolling background we have guys that are waiting for for our player to come flying past, and then they are going flying past him, shooting bullets at him. He can move around the screen, and he stays limited to the screen, which is what we want. And he can shoot bullets back at them. So we've got we've got the we've got the base, we've got the foundation of this game. But in the very next video, we're going to show how to do make things a little bit more flashy using particles.